The damage from last night's storms is extensive. Power still out for so many. Including a metro woman whose life depends on the electricity. News Force Hunter Elise talked to her. Hunter, what's going on here? Kevin and Adria, that's exactly right. And I want to show you these first. This is right outside of our station, actually. You can see a lot of power crews working. Now, some of these power lines were toppled sideways earlier. We saw damage across the metro, including that woman in downtown OKC. She had a tree fall on top of her house. That electricity box out, and now she's worried. She needs to get back on her dialysis tomorrow. Tomorrow. Artie Palmer is an elderly woman who's lived in this home for over 30 years. She said she got an alert on her phone about the storm. Shortly after that, I heard a crash. It happened real fast. This is the tree that broke and crashed onto her roof. The sound of this tree. Like a car hitting a house. But the tree didn't just land on the roof. It made this hole. Then all of a sudden I heard water pouring and it was pouring in the back. Bedroom. As an elderly woman who's on dialysis, there wasn't much she could do until her caretaker came by Wednesday morning. But before I even went into the house, I came into the backyard and I looked and I saw the tree. And as I saw the tree, I said, oh my God. Worried for the cleanup, Kathy made a couple calls. And then next thing turned around, I gave Channel 4 News a phone call and then also called the lawn people who takes care of the lawn. While we were at the home on Wednesday, the lawn company stopped by and said they would help out. She was really worried and upset about the tree that fell on her roof. I let her know not to worry, we can handle it all. But Artie says she needs full electricity for her health. I'm taking dialysis to live because my heart is not strong enough for a transplant. She's on it five days a week. She's very ill. Leaving Artie and Kathy hoping for a miracle. Help is on the way. My help is on the way. And og and &E did stop by the house. While we were there, they turned off the power just for safety. They also told them that they need to get an electrician because the damage is so bad. They've been making some calls this afternoon. They heard back from one organization who helps the elderly, and they're still trying to see if that'll even be a possibility of fixing that power box for RD. Live in Oklahoma City, Hunter Elise, Oklahoma's News 4. Mm, all right, thanks, Hunter. we got to get that power back mm -hmm. onto her. Thank you.